I guess you tell me where to go and, and where to start and kind of what what you um, what's valuable for you to look at. Yeah. So let me request access and then sure. I'll just take a look at what you got going on. The point eight seven, okay. Got it. Okay, um, cool. Yeah, uh, can you go to your site real fast? Uh, yep. Oh, okay. Well, this is one thing. Um, this needs to be like whew, the size of a dime uh, that, and okay. be on the same row as this one. Okay. Yeah. This is a, yeah. All this has to be moved way up. And then this needs to be, all this needs to be on the same row. And then the free shipping needs to be above the menu. Gotcha. Photos need to be higher quality. Um, okay. So let's go here. Are y'all like a boutique or? Uh, so we started out uh, about, two years ago, um, doing like pop-up tents. And then we started shipping orders online. Uh, we have two retail stores now, uh, and the rest of our business is pretty much online. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, this is going to solve your conversion right up here for sure. Okay. It's good. To and know. then I would just make a carousel of these right here, a carousel okay. ad. Have you created one of those before? I have not. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Mind if I duplicate this? So what we'd end up doing is creating what is called a carousel and it's like a slider of images. Okay. And essentially what would end up happening is you would take like these images. Let's see if you yep. have them uploaded already. So can you upload these like four images? Uh, yeah. You want me to do it right now? Sure. Or if you want to just take notes and then I just go through everything and you do it later. Yeah. Let me grab a pen and I'll write this down. Well, it's actually recorded. So I could just send you the recording. That's even better. Let's just do that. Then we can, we can cover more. Cool. Let's do that. Um, okay. So you'll essentially create a carousel of this. You'll add all these images in here. The okay. headline's going to be essentially like, is this for women? It, this one is. Yeah, we have men's as well. What What makes it a woman's? It, it's, so it, we just differentiate it. Like we have a women's section, a men's section, but we like, if someone orders this, we send the same shirt. Combine them. Combine them? Yeah, combine them. Okay. Yeah, you're going to get way more conversions that way. Okay. Yep, combine them. And then headline. And then we can just name this like watermelon, right? Yep. Um, and then like the bottom call out could either be the color or it could be the free shipping over 75. Okay. So you do like free shipping. And then you would take them directly to this landing page. Okay. So they're going to go directly here. Right. Yep. That's gonna allow you to get more conversions because they're clicking on that direct link. They see that exact image and they're gonna make a purchase, right? Okay. okay. And then you just continue to do that with like the rest of these. And then I assume these variants change as we click, right? No, it doesn't. Let's see, it doesn't look like um, it. 
it'll change if you go if you toggle over to like the the color options on the on the web page like so if you go back see where it says color mm. yeah you should that. fix it to where if you change the image it changes the variant too okay yeah and then like yeah so you'll have all these different ones here I don't know what just happened, but, oh, okay, I see. There we go. So yeah, you'll start to see it come to life in this scenario. Yeah, and you could just leave that copy as, as is, and then that would be your first ad. Okay. And then the carousel, and then what else you would do as well? We need this other one. It didn't populate correctly, it looks like, but you'll have to change the images yourself, right? Yep, yep, that's fine. The other thing is testing like different product variations of like your best sellers. What are your best sellers? Um, I mean, pretty much what we have here, anything with this beach uh, print on it. Um, okay, you wanna open up your Shopify? Shopify, yeah. Um, and then just show me your analytics. Um, reports. No, you can just stay on dashboards. And then we'll, what we'll do is we'll just go last month. You have any Black Friday sales coming up? Uh, we do. Yeah, we're doing some Black Friday stuff. Okay. All right. So 3.2. Okay. That's, that's actually good compared to what, how much room you have for improvement. So like you could honestly be at like a five or six, mm -hmm. Okay. which is crazy. I mean, like you would actually double your sales without actually spending any more money at all. Um, that would be great. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's all that really needs to happen and you'll automatically be doing 50 K months without spending any more money. Okay. Yeah. So to do that, you switch the logo, move the menu up, this free shipping goes on top of this. Okay. And I can do all this from like uh, Shopify where we edit our, our theme. That's right. Okay. And then just see how, and then like, do you have any customer reviews? Um, we do, but not for every product. So like if you go to a different product, we might have a couple. Um, okay. Yeah. I try to get reviews for everything. Let's see here. What else is going on? Yeah. And like, you could even do like a carousel of like these different, you know, lifestyle images. That's fine to test. Okay. Um, now, are we doing the should we be doing the carousel like in addition to what we already have, or should we be yes. like replacing this in addition? Thing? In addition, okay. Yeah, and you have a good customer turning rate too, so you need to increase your retargeting on post purchase. Okay. Let's see here. Are you already doing that? Okay, no. So you'll duplicate this audience and then you'll do a, uh, you'll download a list of all your customers. Okay. And then you'll put a purchase 180 day combined in there and you'll retarget those individuals because you have a 28% return customer rate. You could very easily get that up to like 50% already. Okay. So every person you acquire, now they're buying, half of them are buying again. Yep. Got so it. not only are you going to be getting out more from a higher conversion rate, Gonna be at 50, and then you're really gonna be getting like you know an extra 12,500 or really an extra 25,000 on top of that from just getting your customer turning rate to 50 percent, right? Makes These sense. are automatically would be like 50 75k. Yeah. I don't know if that's you know, sounds like it'd be good, but that sounds amazing, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that's a good increase. Um, how much are you sending emails? How often? Uh, weekly, okay. Um, what do they say? Um, usually just like, it'll, it'll highlight a product. We do like a fan of the week, like pictures that people tag us in and stuff. We'll send one of those out. Um, if we like, if we're like dropping something new, we'll say like new, uh, new product release. Um, so it's usually just like three, it's three sections, um, or like three images highlighting like two different products up the top. Then we do our fan of the week down the bottom. Um, and we just, we send that out to our, 
uh, like anyone who pretty much any previous purchasers, when once we get their email with an order, they go on our list and, and they, we have a list of probably 72, 7,300 people right now who get those. Okay. Do you have any products that are under $25? Um, we have some small accessory type stuff like drinkware, beach balls, uh, like things like that. Yeah. What's the cheapest item? Oh, we sell wristband for $5. It's like a little rubber wristband. Okay. All right. Um, what you need to do is like, you need to send an email out that says like, Hey, you're a VIP and you only send it to people who've spent over like say a hundred dollars on your site. Okay. Everybody's a VIP and say, Hey, I just, um, say today, uh, we, we added a, uh, uh, $20 credit to your account, um, to spend on our site, as long as your order is over, you know, uh, a certain amount. Okay. And all of these people who've already spent a hundred bucks with you are going to use it mm -hmm. because they've already spent more than the average person Two, they feel special because they're VIP three, they have a credit in their account. So why not use it? Sure. Okay. So it's going to force all this spin to go through on your site. Yep. You're going to do that like at least once a month, um, except you'll change the ratio. Like you might not, you'll do maybe, you know, um, a VIP group for people who've spent like 300 bucks. And then you do one for, you know, different ranges, right? Yeah. That's right. going to give you an extra, you know, boost in sales every single month, depending on how big that list is, that could be anywhere between five to 20,000 extra a month. Wow. Okay. Awesome. Then you're going to up your emails to about three times weekly. Okay. One, you have the fans Two is going to be the, uh, you're going to release like a special, you're going to do different offers and stuff like that. Like, um, like feature a product that hasn't been featured before you'll send that out okay. or you'll bundle something that you haven't bundled before okay. or you'll do a percent off or you'll do like a credit or you'll do um, just a release or a collection drop. Okay. That's going to give a huge lift in conversions. You should have like, let's see here. Where's your sales for direct. You should have a big source of like, yeah, your direct sales should be jumping after that. It should by far pass your social. Okay. Um, okay, and then going back to the ads, because I know that's what you wanted to cover a lot of. Um, you're going to have that second ad, which is going to retarget to people who are already customers. It's going to say, hey, so we heard you love nothing. We heard you love nothing better than doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Take an extra, you know, 15% off by coming um, back and shopping with your favorite, you know, brand. Okay. Got it. That's going to be for the post-purchase. Um, and now to create that audience, we pull that out of Shopify. Exist. We pull our existing customers from Shopify. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's check your conversion API just to make sure your tracking setup. This could automatically improve your results by like, 10 to 40% just by us fixing some of this stuff that might not be in tune. Where is this? Have you set up your Instagram shop? Uh, we are set up on Instagram shopping, I believe. We can like tag products and stuff. And um, when you click on the shopping cart, our, our store comes up. Okay, good. Boom. Yeah. Here you go. Yep. Okay. Now you have maximum. So look at this, get the best possible results. See the difference already. Hmm. Now get the best possible results. This setting is continually updated with Facebook's latest advertising technology. So, and shares the most data with Facebook right here. Look at this for every, you know, a couple of people you get, you don't get these people over here. You get every single one of them. It's going to improve your data. This right here alone is going to jump you by like 10 to 40%. This is the type of stuff that people just don't even know that like yeah. literally gives them such a competitive edge. Yeah. Like you not doing this call. I'm sorry, what? You not doing the call probably would cost you like 50 to a hundred grand per month. You doing this call, you're, you know, automatically already having the opportunities to start hitting those numbers pretty quickly, just from, you know, knowing these are some of the things you can do. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. I mean, I'm 
I'm a complete rookie at this stuff, like self-taught, started this brand a couple of years ago. So this is all awesome stuff. No worries. Yeah, so essentially how this works is it's an API. So now it's going to be routing data to Facebook a lot faster, giving your ads more optimization events. You're going to have better attributed results. You're going to get more sales. Facebook's going to learn quicker and optimize more efficiently for you and basically find other you know, uh, people who are really uh, into your brand. Okay. So we'll confirm right. this. This is a game changer right here. This is crazy. Um, yeah, look at that. I mean, it automatically is going to improve by 8% is what they have, but I mean, I've seen way crazier statistics than this when people do this. Okay. All right. So now that I know that, that could also tell me that there's a lot of other room for settings that haven't been touched before. Is this your pixel? Uh, yeah. Really? I mean, it should be. We only have one. Add account. Oh, that's our, yeah, maybe the top one. Surely this can't be your pixel. Hold on. Let's just double check something. Okay. Four, six, six, six. Four, six, 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 six. Okay, it is interesting. Are you assigned to this ad account? Oh, uh, I am, yeah. Okay. Or at least I should be. Boom, here's some more settings that aren't turned on. Okay. So this right here, this can help attribute more conversions to your Facebook ads and reach more people through remarketing. This right here is going to improve your retargeting audiences, basically getting you more sales just by turning these on. Hmm. Crazy, right? So now it's going to be routing all this information and this is connected through your Shopify. Hmm. So now your data is going to be better. And look at this. Now that this is integrated, you're going to be like fully you know, getting the best data you can for your, your audiences, which are going to make them a lot more efficient. Okay. Let's configure your web events, make sure this is all set up correctly. Okay, let's go to your ads manager. Okay. All right, so you'll have that post-purchase audience and then these are your lookalikes and interest. How many interests are you going after? Uh, uh, maybe five, I wanna say. They're like Key West related stuff. Okay. Is your audience primarily just in the Key West and Florida? It's not, but people like with that interest in islandy vacation beaches, like that's kind of where our products fall in line with a lot. Um, so I, I probably created this one maybe. Okay. So October 29th, I created this. Um, and I just, it was my first time like testing out that uh, market or that segment, I guess. Okay. Well, the good thing is I, there's so much room for improvement that um, this could easily be a big, you know, winner here with like the way that things are currently going. The fact that you're already doing these numbers is like pretty insane. <laughs> so like that kind of says like, this is really does have a big opportunity to grow. Okay. Um, like, honestly, you could even, I, I've had people come into the class, like and do a first, their first hundred K day and they hadn't even done a hundred K month before. Wow. That's yeah. And that's, I mean, for Black Friday and Christmas, I mean, that's yeah. honestly not out of reach. Huh. Okay. Um, obviously, there's a lot of work in between there that has to be done, though. Sure. Um, so I would create another audience stack of interest going after like more beachy interest. Okay. And then create another stack that's like 
you know, like people who are in specific areas like the Key West, right? Think of like places in Cali, think of places in, you know, maybe Cape Cod, different areas where people are like right. wearing this style of clothing. Okay. And that are into these types of brands. Got it. You know, maybe it's boating life or like fishing. Fishing's a big one. Right. Yep. Stuff like that. Okay. Um, so we should ultimately end up with how many duplicates of this interest? And you won't have duplicates of the interest. You'll just have different stacks of them. So maybe another two stacks of like five in each. Gotcha. So those will be separate campaigns? No, they're just separate ad sets. Ad, ad sets. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So do we, do and we want to run every, everything off the same campaign like we currently are doing with ads? Yeah, that's love it? Uh, for interest. Yes, that's fine. Okay. You only want to create separate campaigns for like lookalikes, like look like like a separate campaign would be a retargeting. A separate campaign would be an interest, but all of the ad sets within that campaign would be interest. Gotcha. Okay. Just like with retargeting, you'll have your post purchase in there. And then like, when I was just looking at this for these, and you already have a good amount of purchases this month. Um, man, it's so crazy because your stuff's about to get even more wild here in the next week after those two tweaks we just made. Like you're about to see an insane flow through of sales come through. Well, awesome. Um, get more style of content um, where you like the headlines, I would switch up your headlines, calling out what like you're selling in some of these. And then, you know, like a, like a saying, right? Like the, uh, the saying you already have, like stuff like that's going to be good. Okay. Carousels are going to be huge for you. Okay. Now go back to your site the carousel will just be another one of like an additional line item where you just were, it'll be like a different, um, ad. Yeah, that's right. Um, you're going to leave your age range open when you create those other interests. Okay. It's going to be 18 plus. Okay. Uh, you said you have a physical location? Uh, we have two of them. Yep. Okay. Has anybody under the age of 35 ever walked in there and purchased something from you guys? Yeah, all the time. Okay. Let's yeah. leave the age range to where whatever customers you see come in the store. Let's do that. Yeah. Do you have okay. Shopify um, POS in your stores? Uh, in one of them, one of our stores is seasonal and is not open right now. We, we ran that one off the square but the one we currently have is um, Shopify. Oops, I clicked on, I guess it's rerouting us. Okay. But is it not pulling the data into the, the Shopify account right now? Um, it should be. Uh, we haven't had many customers at that recent store. We just opened maybe a week ago. Um, but it, I don't know. I, I assumed it was all. Um, oh yeah, it looks like you do have bonus sales coming through. Yep. Okay, so you just opened very recently? Yeah, yep. Okay. So whoever's manning the desk there needs to be asking um, if they are, uh, if they want to join the list for, you know, special offers and rewards and drops okay. and stuff like that. Got it. Okay. And if they say yes, whoever ends up processing that payment needs to check the box that says accepts marketing. Okay. Because as soon as they're done shopping, it's going to route them back into the system and show up here and give us more data. And then you need to have a separate campaign that's like a dedicated budget just to your store location. Got it. Because that's going to be providing you data to fill your online store. And then you're going to have returning customers online. Right. Um, is there a way to do that with what we collected um, from Square? Or is that more difficult? No. Okay. No. Now that you're on the Shopify POS system, just make sure the staff knows to ask. Got it. That'll help a lot. Um, and then your Instagram starting to increase, which is good. We need to go back to your website. Can you pull up in the site?
Yeah, I think just first steps is obviously going to be this stuff up here. Everything else I think can be tweaked later on. Okay. Um, the other things would be based off of those audience tests and then those ads that you'll end up testing. Who's a big competitor of yours that you would say like is a big brand that's kind of like known in this space? Um, I would say like life is good usually comes up. Okay. You want to look that one up? Um, yep. See the menu? menu. Um, All yeah, that's yeah. right here. Yep. Got it. All that's right here. Okay. Okay. Then the next thing you need to do is like have your Black Friday like themed header. Okay. Like your theme header on the site. Whatever's like right here, this needs to be like your special promo. Got it. Okay. You can do this in Canva. Have you ever used Canva before? Yeah, we use it all the time. Wonderful. Lovely. So you'll just do that. You'll just make your banner mm -hmm. for the uh, site. Okay. It'll be Black Friday related with the offer. And, and now, can... how soon do we want to put that up there if we're only doing Black Friday on the actual Friday? Do we just put it up for that day or that weekend? No, you're going to launch it now. Okay. You're just going to have a different offer on that five-day period over the weekend for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Okay. But you're going to have like, it already pretty known that it's here. So that way people start shopping. Like, and I, I what you'd want to do is try to convert as many people on like a special offer now. And then yeah. like come Black Friday, that's when you have like your door buster per se. Right. Where like you get everyone who didn't. And then that way you're not sacrificing like, you know, all your margin with the entire group, you can sell as many people as possible prior to then. And then you still get a big sell day on Black Friday. Okay. So your margin is maximized. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, this is fine how you have this split out, but you can remove the wording and like saying it's a women's tea, okay. right? It can just, it can still be split out like men and women like this, but like the product itself doesn't have to say women's. Got it. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So that's perfect. Hmm. That way people will like it. It's going to be easier to convert through the ads that way. Okay. And just a quick question for you. So like on the long sleeves where I said, we have it, we have men's and women's split up. Can we still keep one on the men's page, one on the women's, but just remove that wording? Is that what you're saying to do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then come back to your page. Are you tagging your products? So we tag them, but then when we go to boost them, we have to remove the tag in order to um, have people's landing be our Instagram page. Like, does that make sense? Okay. So... Check one more thing before time's up. Okay. All right, good deal. Yeah, it's you're you're growing really fast on here. Okay. So that over time is gonna get bigger and bigger for you. Cool. This can be another revenue stream for you. Shops. Yeah. See, I mean, you're getting gross. Yeah. Instagram shop. Yeah, that just needs to be improved. You have very low discovery there. Okay. So yeah, you just need to be tagging more content outside okay. of what's being boosted. Yeah. Okay. Y'all aren't doing any reels? We have not. Nope. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be another thing you're going to want to do. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, like those are my initial recommendations. Yep. There's so much more.
Oh, you have a minimum set for the daily spend. Yeah. So, so what I did, and I don't know if I did this right or not, but I, our interests and our lookalikes are, are um, under the same campaign and then they're just two separate ad sets. So I just wanted to make sure it was spending like evenly between the interests and the lookalikes. So I set those minimums for both. Okay, so do you want to have every single ad set at 225? Um, I don't know what I have. I don't know what I have the uh, lookalikes at. Um, I, I will set it to whatever you recommend um, or yeah, if you recommend just, not setting it or whatever. Yeah, we could just have it at like 50, a much lower number initially, and then only go up if it's working. Okay. I'm going to drop this number down to 18. Okay. It's going to open up more opportunities for you sales wise. Cool. And then we're going to remove this stuff. And then go after like audiences that are around like the beach. What are things, what are things that your audience does? Um, beach, surfing, uh, cruises, vacations. Um, all right. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go with like beach. Let's actually, let's go with the whole surf audience. That sounds, okay. that sounds right. So if you can just start searching, uh, surf audiences here, yeah, you surfers to... and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Choose them because you'll know best, but just like, we'll do about five of them. Okay. By the way, can you still hear me? Um, I'm about to surf for myself, so I have to see what comes up. By the way, can you still hear me? You can always hit suggestions as well. Suggestions. Wind surfing, kite surfing, paddle boarding. That's cool. That's a good one. Um, Um, like, does it make sense to combine things like beaches and kayak on this, or do you want to just keep it surf specific? Keep it surf specific. Okay. Um, swimming? No. No. You've okay. got everything you needed here. All right, cool. Then I Good. think we'll keep it at these four. All right, then essentially, yep, all looks good down here. Now you'll just name this audience. If you just want to name it real quick, I'd say like a surf stack. So that way, just at a glance, you'll know, okay, well, the surf audience is working. Right. And then all of these, we're going to switch to use existing post. Okay. As long as you didn't make them dynamic by chance, let's hope not. All right, it looks like you did. So we'll just go back to create ad. Let's see if this one is set as dynamic. All right. So we're going to publish this real quick and then we're going to adjust something. All right. Publish. And then. Just refresh your screen until this says in review. Mm, halfway there. Now you're going to hit edit. Uh, here? No, uh, the here? one above it. Yep. And then you're just going to click on create ad and flip it to use existing. And then you're going to click on add preview it's up there in the top right. Yeah, it looks like you're dynamic still. Hold on. We'll just double check this real fast. Okay. Yeah, they're all dynamic, it looks like. Oh, here we go. We got 
two worked, three worked, four worked. Okay, so number one just didn't. So we'll just take number one and flip it back. Yeah, we'll discard draft number one. So we're gonna X this out. So essentially we're gonna publish, which one's one? Is this one? No, that's not one. I think one is the beach, denim beach tea. No. I thought it had a blue shirt in it. I was almost certain one of these were, okay, these were all still pretty bad. So we'll just do this one by one. You okay. Normally, when things aren't dynamic, it just flips over automatically. I think this is the one that isn't. Weird. Okay. Maybe it's not working. No, it's this one. Yeah, you're right. So we'll leave that alone. Okay, so these three, we're going to switch to use existing. Okay. What's going to happen now is anytime somebody likes this, they're going to, the likes are going to stack in every audience, meaning the likes will show up no matter what audience this ad is in. Hmm. Okay. Previously, if you put an ad in an audience and you duplicated it, it would be liked in one audience, but the other audience that you have wouldn't see that like. Right. So now you're going to build momentum. So those are published. And then what you're going to do is just duplicate this ad set, surf stack, and you're going to make like a, a ski stack or something like water skiing or something or fishing. Okay, cool. You want to do that and see if you have the routine down? Yeah, sure. So we're going to duplicate this. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't remember this screen to be honest. You're just going to X out of this. Okay. Um, um, I'm trying to think. Can we go, can we go with our beach audience for this one? Uh, you could do beach. Let's do that. Like, cause I definitely want to get one of those going. Um, vacations, does that fall in line? Or no. keep separate? Okay. Um, C. It could. Yes, he could. All right. Um, what was the last one? I'll let you decide. Summer vacate. Summer. No, let's just go with the ones you have. Okay. I like those, and it's a good. Um, yeah, you have a good good size here. Okay. Cool. Um, so, yeah, click on the next one. So it's already stacked. So it's good to go just like this. This one's the one that's dynamic, remember? So we can't stack this one, but yes, it is good to go. Um, and I'll just call this beach stack. Yeah, and then like get two more stacks going for sure. Keep our minimum here at 50. That's a good start. That's your call for budget. Okay. If that's within your budget, then that's fine. If not, you can always pull it down to 25. So this ad set, I mean, uh, not this ad set, this campaign has a... I believe a $500 daily budget. Um, and we already have these ones set at like minimum, 
I think 225 for the interest and like 150 for the lookalikes. Um, so what's, what do you think the best way to uh, divide that is? Should we reduce them all to like 50 and then just let them go from there? Yeah, absolutely. Well, no, you're the one that's already producing the majority of the cells. Keep it 225. Okay. Reduce the lookalikes down. And then you'll just to like 50 and then just that'll open up some budget. And then maybe we'll just do three stacks just to stay within your, you know, or you can, yeah. So reduce your lookalikes to, that's fine. And then the rest of these interests can just be at 25. It's not a big deal. Okay. All right. So publish this. That's right. And then you're going to duplicate it again and do another two stacks at like 25. Okay, cool. Um, I'm thinking maybe like a vacation related stack here. I don't know. That's pretty broad in terms of like, that could really mean anything that could really mean like mountains, cold. True. Um, so much what, that could go into that. I would try to stick along the lines of like, like go, go look at your audience. Like, what are they doing? Well, uh, look at them somewhere or just on their like, social media. What, like what's their daily lives look like? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, I would say, uh, drinking may be a good one. Um, that's kind of like a theme around a lot of our stuff. Like we do koozies, uh, kind of goes hand in hand with like hanging out, doing nothing. Does that make sense? Okay. Like koozies make sense. I don't know so like that. finding brands that are in that market makes sense. Oh, I'm in the wrong uh, thing there. Okay. Let's see what, uh, I'll, I'll see what pops up here. What about like cooler brands, like Yeti coolers and stuff like that? Yeah. Um, is that something I can literally just click yeah, on Yeti? Coolers right there. Or? Yeti uh, coolers. It just okay. popped up. You want to grab that one? Yeah, yeah. It said the audience was really small for that one. Oh, oh okay. Then never mind. Yeah. You already got it. Um, yeah. Okay. That's good. Um, does it make sense to put like beer brands or something like that? Yeah. If you know the type of beer they drink. Or like margaritas absolutely that's more specific and more like that's smart okay but like corona yeah um okay uh trying to think if there's anything else to add here Like tropical stuff too, like beach stuff. Yeah, I, I think I think I have a good kind of good mix here. Um, do you do you see anything I should I could do differently?
I think that's a good start. Okay. This is all, the rest is all already set up yep, and everything. You're good to go. You just rename it and then that's it. Sweet. What about the cost? Did you set that to 25? I did. Yep. I uh, believe that was already in there. Yeah. Okay, so now you want to add those carousel ads in here. Okay. Should I wait for this to change or just do the carousel? So you can create that carousel from that other campaign. Let's double check and see if we published it by accident. Can we go to the other audience here? Let's see. Let me just double check because I think what we did was we had one in here, right? No, it's not. Okay, so you just create a carousel. Create a carousel. Okay. Um, so create it within like an ad set? Is that? Yep. Um, maybe not. Uh, yeah. Where, where do I start? The ad level and hit duplicate. Ad level. Yep, duplicate, and that's it. Then you just edit it to be a carousel. Okay, got it. Hit create ad. Uh, use existing post, and you switch it back to create ad. Okay. Carousel. Um, manually choose images. Uh, all right, I'm just going to go into Shopify and save some of these images. Um. Now, does it, while I'm doing this, I'm just going to ask some questions. Does it make sense to do all of the same, like all long sleeves, but in different colors? Or does it make more sense to do like a different product each, each character? Okay. Yeah, test both for sure. So how do I add multiple images? You're going to do them one by one. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, so for now, I just, I fill this one out. Yeah. And then you then click on the next one below it. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Who does your email marketing? Uh, I do. Okay. Yep. Then you'll just do those things I was mentioning earlier. Um, yeah, I'll I'll go back and kind of listen to the notes and, and do that stuff. Um, right. So we got this one. Okay. Um. 
quick question for you. So I have these images that we took ourselves. Um, I also have these ones that were done on like a mock-up. If it's a white background, do those. Yeah, so it's- Oh, heck yeah. This one? Way better. Okay. Um, done, I'll change them out. I'll do that on our website as well then once we hop off. Great. Um, are we out of options or how do we do a fourth? Add media. Okay, okay so we got our four there. Now, headline, should we do the same headline as what we did in our other ones? So what is it called? Oh, okay. So this is, this is called our beach long sleeve. Okay. description uh what typically would go here you could do like the free shipping but it kind of ran off so like you should do something a little bit different like uh what's a good call out y'all have like a call like a saying or a tag yeah. on it it could be the name of the brand it could be something else um okay i'm trying to think uh we we say like we say like beach with the best we say like beach life forever stuff like that like it's Boom, done. And then just throw an emoji, like a little ocean wave. Um, where do I get an emoji for here? Oh, there we go. Scroll to the top and type in ocean. Ocean. Yep. What do you think about a palm tree? Boom, go for it. And then we want to go send them straight to that product. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, do it for all of them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very short headline. Uh, do we want to send them to the whim? Uh, that's why we got to change the name. I get it. Mm.
All right. Um, so these are set. Where do we go from here? Uh, you're going to activate the call to action, which is going to be the shop now, and then you're going to change your primary text. Shop now. Yeah, let me just see real quick. Let's go to your site and see what's going on here. Uh oh, hold on. Something's missing. So, Beach with the Best, that's running off. You got to change this to what was that other one you said? Oh, um, we do Beach, beach Life Forever. Will that fit? Beach Life. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I want to try too. typing that one in and see if it fits. And then we'll just check real fast. Well, that one's in. What's this beginning one doing? I don't know. It has a space at the end. Oh, wow. Okay. There we go. It's in. There you go. Beach Life Forever. We'll just leave that one just as a... <laughs> All right. As a... Keep them on there. Attention breaker. So that way we reroute and they get a little bit more focused. Okay, so the website, you're gonna send them to, okay, is that your site? That's our, like our main site, yep. Okay, that's fine. And then the specific primary text, let's see, before we gotta drop here, I would choose something from, do you have descriptions for any of your products? Yeah, we have them for all of them. Okay. Um, they're all pretty, they're all pretty much the, the same across the board. All right, there you go. This is it right here. Just throw that in there. South Beach. Perfect. Is it, does it matter that it's running off? It's fine. Okay. Ideally, you wouldn't, but I mean, in this case, it's fine. It makes sense. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, like, if you wanted to, what we could do is break it up like you said but then the problem then becomes is like there's not much going on other than actually yeah. i like it way better this way boom much more easy to read actually okay. cool and then like you'd even have like a down pointing emoji here like a uh yeah i like that like an arrow mm -hmm. if you want to throw one of those in there and then you'll just publish this. You'll refresh your screen until it says in review. Then you'll switch it to uh, use existing posts. Remember? Um, um, so I, I wasn't listening. I was looking for an emoji. Can you repeat that? Yeah, I'll let you grab the emoji first. There you go. Okay. And then essentially what you'll do is you're going to publish this. Yep. You'll then let it turn into review. You remember that process? Uh, yes. Yep. And then you're going to click on it, edit again, and then you're going to choose the create ad and change that to use existing post. Um, you just click this and that. That's it. And I want to do that for all of them once it's created? No, you just do it for this one, and then you duplicate this into your other audiences. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Yeah, that's it. And then like you'll join this Monday call and then you'll just replay back what we were talking about earlier and you'll make those changes on the site and whatnot. Okay. So I want to add this carousel into my beach stack, my drinking stack, my surf stack. That's right. That's right. Okay. That, um, that makes sense. Cool. Well, awesome. I'm looking forward to you joining these next few calls and then seeing what we can do here. Yeah, I am too. I, um, I appreciate the time today. I think we're off to a good start. Uh, Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to just learning more from you. Perfect. Awesome, Andrew.